guys, it's Tilly and today I am back with another Tea Yak unboxing video. First of all, I'd like to apologize for my eye. I cut it and it looks like I'm pretty spooky, but I'm just going to get straight into it. And so this box is the July box because I forget what month it is. And it is Ladies Who Slay and I'm very excited because I can think of so many amazing female characters in YA that absolutely slay everything. So let's get to unboxing it. So firstly we have some little temporary tattoos. Um, these are from what I'm guessing is Divergent when Tris gets her tattoos and looking closer it says welcome to the hub which means that I am correct. Um, I'm very excited. I'm probably going to use these because I love temporary tattoos. <laughs> this is so cool. I, um, I'm going to be using this frequently. So this is a Sailor Moon um, mirror, I think. Um, and it's like the perfect size to take around in your purse and everything like that. But the artwork... Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I just... Oh, I love it so much. And the mirror. You guys can see yourselves. Look at you. You're beautiful. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, so for those of you who know, one of my recently favourite books is A Court of Miss and Fury. And the first one is A Court of Thorn and Roses. And so we have this like beautiful little keyring chain which says A Court of Thorn and Roses on it, which I'm going to go put on my car keys because I just really love it so much. And there are plenty of ladies who slay in that book, so... I've got my bookmark, so I've got my t yak bookmark, and also the Crowns game. And I have read this book, and I loved this book, and I really hope that you guys who like fantasy will read it and really love it as well. It's kind of, yeah, a really good fantasy, bit of historical fiction in there, and it's just amazing. I am someone who will, like, never get over book merch jewelry, especially when it's Hermione's wand. And plus, I'm wearing my Hogwarts jumper today, so I think that, yeah, I kind of have to wear it right now. Slay. And for the book we have And I Darken by Kirsten White and I am lucky enough to have already read this book and I can tell you guys now it is amazing it is kind of like a fantasy slash historical fiction with a twist on Vlad the Impaler you now have Leda the Impaler and trust me she slays and impales. So it follows the story of a brother and sister you have Leda and you have Radu and they are basically contrasts of each other Leda is ugly and mean and brutal and strives for success no matter who she mows down and Raidu is a sweet, caring, emotional, gentle, beautiful boy that needs to be protected forever. And it follows their journey and you go on this like long ride with them and you can't help but fall in love with them and a few of the other characters in the book but it really was a really good book to read. It was refreshing. It is an easy book. It's yeah, it's quite great. <laughs> I kind of just, yeah, I'm not very good at describing that one. I kind of apologize because my reviews aren't that great on books. It's kind of just like me screaming at you guys to read them and just babbling. But it's really good. You should read it. And now for the TF card, which I will read out because these girls do better justice at saying the words than I do. So what's in the box? Volume 11, Ladies Who Slay. Fellow bookworms, take a deep breath and dive into the alternate retelling of Vlad the Impaler. And I Darken by Kirsten White tells the story of Lady Dragweiler, the fierce daughter of the King of Wallachia, which I know I am pronouncing wrong. No one expects a princess to be brutal and Leda likes it that way. You can't think of strong female characters without thinking of Sarah J Maas and we hope you love your throne of glass or a quarter thorn on roses keychain by the lovely Belle Regalia. Find the star on Etsy, which I'm going to have to do because I need the throne of glass one as well. I need it. Wear around your neck the wand of the most badass witch around and the moment we saw these necklaces of Hermione's wand, we knew immediately we had to feature it in this month's box. Show off your rebellious side with Triss inspired temporary tattoos from Welcome to the Hub on Etsy. We've collaborated with two amazing stores to create the last item of volume 11. Take a Sailor Moon print from Juicy Ginger on Etsy and combine it with the amazing ladies from Button Empire and you get these beautiful Sailor Moon makeup mirrors, Moon Prism Power makeup. I will leave links below to the TIAC website and their Twitter and all the other stuff that I can find and I will also leave links to the blogs of the two great girls who created this box so you guys can go and delve into like their past boxes and look at all the beautiful pictures and stuff like that. Thank you guys for watching. I shall hopefully see you guys soon. I'll be back with another video and hopefully all heals up and that's so creepy looking. And until then I hope that you guys have a wonderful time and read many great books and yes. And until next time, you guys just continue to slay.